Okay guys, um, so I decided to install the uh, windshield wipers right now. Uh, no instructions uh, at all, but you know, it's pretty straightforward. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you've ever, I don't know, every time I go to put wiper blades on, um, they're always, you know, it takes a while to figure out how to get them in there. They're kind of tricky, but they're, this is like the hardest and the simplest mechanism that there is in the world. Um, you know, you'll break them probably if, you know, you don't do it often. And, uh, you know, I actually, I did kind of break one, but not to the point where it's not usable. So I did mess up a little bit on one of these, but I'm not using both. Uh, thought I was, but these are very large. This is the 15.7 inch um, wiper blade. Uh, I um, tried to, you know, I spent a little time figuring out where would be the best spot to drill and mount this. I came up with the driver's side uh, top right corner. Um, this is custom plexiglass, so don't, you know, it's cracked. The guy who put it on here cracked it. He uses these big washers. Um, I'm going to go get bigger washers. Here's what comes with the uh, washers, the, the, the wipers. I'm going to get um, bigger washers um, and I will make, uh, you know, just to secure it better. I, uh, I drilled as carefully as I could and I still put another little uh, crack um, in there. Not too, too bad, but um, it's a fracture. Um, so who knows how well this is all going to handle up. Uh, you know hold up um, so I did use on this uh, kit you know it'll be a link um, on this kit I used the right size was a 15 30 seconds okay a 15 30 seconds drill bit is the right width uh, to stick this through okay um, I went up I thought I had all these sizes one two three this was my fourth shot I got it right so I started a little bit smaller and went up um, took me about four sizes. I was uh, a little surprised at that, but um, this was the right size. 15, uh, 64 so is what, a, is what a, uh, 30 seconds. Okay, 15, 30 seconds, if I can get that to uh, uh, focus in there. All right. Um, so I drilled it, uh, and this is um, where it's at. I would like these if you can find, I mean... You should really try and pre-measure. I really didn't. I just kind of guessed them. I said, oh, give me the biggest wiper blades possible. I like the 15-inch wiper blade. I don't like the radius of the arm. Um, if I was welding at this point in time, which I'm not, uh, sometime this year I will be breaking out the welder, I will cut this arm radius and take about two inches off. Um, because, you know, I'll hold this back here. Um... You know, it goes right to the end, and, you know, it reaches across pretty far. Um, but, you know, I'm, I, I really only have one option. You know, I really can't go anywhere else. This thing hangs off over here no matter what. Uh, you got to be careful about going down here. Make sure you can reach it. Right now, this is my optimal point for what I got. Um, I may come back and MacGyver something else. So then basically... Uh, once it's drilled out, okay, uh, I'm going to have a little issue. I got a little clearance issue here with my top. Uh, I may have to just wrench that up or loosen it up to get the uh, cap in here. Um, so basically, just take this, okay? They give you all this hardware. It's a washer. I'm going to just um, do this for demonstration purposes, not going to be the final product, because I'm going to put bigger washers on to support this uh, custom plexiglass. And it's scratched. Look how scratched. I don't expect this to last long, so I really don't care. It's how the quad came. And then, uh, so you basically put that in. And then uh, I got the washer handle here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Then uh, you take this washer handle and uh, put it up through here. I'm going to uh, stop right now. I'm going to set up the tripod. Uh, try and get this whole process on video. And leave me out of it because it's a, uh, you know... It's April freaking 14th here, and uh, it's already 95 degrees in the shade, so I'm in shorts, uh, sandals, socks, and no shirt, and nobody wants to see that. So if I can get this set up, I will uh, put a uh, focus on the job here. Hold on. Okay, so I got tripod set up. All right, so now I'm going to take this handle. Um, comes with a little 
uh, not somewhere that I already already lost so uh, I'm at a loss already here we go here we go here we go here we go all right yeah I'm out let me see where I left it up oh, here we go all right so basically gonna put this through here uh, fairly simple over here boom and then uh, we got to put the wiper blade on here they're both uh, left and right are exactly the same it's spring loaded so I kind of got an issue here all right you just kind of clap that on pretty good make sure it's at a good spot which it's not for me right now but I'll work through it and you put this nut on here all right I think what you want to do is spring load this but the only problem is then the caps in the way so you're kind of working against yourself no matter what in order to get this uh, first nut tight um, so I'll show you real quick here what I'm talking about so I got tension on this thing here which is no good a little bit of tension to kind of see it's on an angle and needs to be straight um, so I kind of need two hands I really want it to be you know you, you got to finagle it let me just I got to go get the right wrench for this and then uh, I'll come back all right I'm back uh, before I go get a, a a socket for that um, I can see already I forgot to put the other washer and uh, and uh, buffer on there okay uh, before you put this on you got to clamp it to the windshield and then you can adjust everything afterwards uh, so for right now I got to go I got to take this off and uh, we're gonna put on the um, we're gonna put the other nut and washer on there so everything's got to get secured to the windshield first and then uh, you can adjust it. There's a lot of adjustability in there. Um, come on. There you go. And then uh, I'm just going to put these on. Like I said, this is just trial. And see if I'm going to go further. And go get the big washers. You know, this may not work out for me. I, you know, I still don't know. All right, so my... Stuff is in the way here, and uh, hoping to lose a nut. Okay, I did not lose a nut. All right. Okay, so probably want this back as far as I can inside the cab is what I'm going to say. So I'm going to tighten this stuff up a little bit. I'll show you what I got going on here. I think that's going to be about right. You don't want it sticking too far out one way or the other, but I want mine into the cab more. Uh, I'll show you the stem. Okay, so you get you get to move the stem right here in and out. You know, this little tunnel stem, it's threaded, and uh, I'm gonna have mine more to the inside of the cab than the the outside. Uh, that I so far I think so, and then I'll tighten them up. Uh, I should probably tighten them up now. You sh this would be a good time to tighten them up and give it a shot. Um, but I'm gonna put everything back together here all right there we go we're gonna try this again give it a shot uh, we gotta put the wiper on all right I don't know if everybody struggles like I do but uh, this cap is in the way too bad you gotta have this sprung I would say you might want to undo the spring uh, if you have a spring uh, a spring puller which I happen to have. I may just undo the spring and make this job easier. I'll let you know. Let me uh, go get a spring and I'm gonna I'm gonna detach the spring on here. The tension. I know there's no light, but there's spring on here. Just trust me. Uh, and it just pulls right out. And uh, then I'll reattach it. Uh, hopefully later on. I don't know. Uh, it might not be a good idea because then I'm gonna put a lot of stress on my windshield, which is not a good idea either. So. Sorry to take you through the thought process. Uh, I think I'm going to just work with it the way it is. Because uh, then to get that spring back on there might be a whole new animal. All right. If you don't want the cap, you can get rid of the cap too. That's always another option, you know. So I'm kind of just half, you kind of need three hands for this. If you want to get this thing flush in there, 
and get it on tight. Um, you know, it's got to sit like that. There we go. I can work it a little bit. All right. Yeah. If you're kind of good at stuff, you know, you can get it going. And I got to get this out of there. And then, uh, all right. So I'm going to go get my, uh, my socket set and uh, I'm going to tighten that up. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, it's the infamous 10 millimeter. Uh, I happen to have mine. I don't have very many tools within sight, but I happen to have the 10 millimeter today. And uh, we're just going to try and get this puppy to go. Kind of uh, make sure we're in the right direction here. All right, I'm going to have to jam something up in there. So let's uh, find something to jam. What are we going to jam up in there? Let's see. I'm sure I got something. There we go. What's this? Let's try this. Brush might be good. Alright, let's try to get that up in there. Oh, stay out of the way for me. No, you can be in the way, but out of the way. Alright. Yours might go a lot easier. I don't know. It might go harder. I mean, my next bet is to unscrew this and loosen the Loosen this, this up. I might just do that. Get it out of the way. So I can do it. And now I got the cap in the way. Yeah, this is fun. All right. All right. Nope, going the wrong way. Lefty. Righty tighty, loosey goosey or something, right? And then, uh, you know, now we got to kind of get that to go flat so we can get it all in there. Uh, make sure that your handle's lined up where you want to be. I'm not. Uh, I'm a little bit off, but I'm okay for now because, like I said, this is temporary. Uh, don't over tighten it, you know, it's small threads. Uh, that's just keep it on with the thread thing there, and that's it. Have a little testy, testy. All right, stays on there pretty good. I got pretty good clearance up to here and then down, and this is where it's going to stay. That's another thing you want to plan out wherever you mount this. Okay, this doesn't lock, okay? Unless you want to use a rubber band, which you don't want, you know, you're going to want to lock this in place. It, uh, when you're bouncing around, this is going to have a tendency to uh, rest somewhere. And I want mine to be right here vertically. I already tested my line of sight. It's here, but I'm okay with that. And, you know, when it bounces around, it's going to stay right here, okay? Um, you know, obviously, I'm not going to try and rest it up there. And I bounce around, it's going to fall down. So if you're mounting this somewhere else, Keep that in mind that you this thing's gonna bounce to the bottom. All right, so you gotta keep that in mind. That's you know, you wanna try and plan it out where it's got a final resting place, okay? Uh, I think on the Amazon site they show an image of this thing sitting in the middle, uh, you know, and they have it here. This is too long, you know, so just don't work on this side by side. I don't know what side by side they're using, but it's not this blade, this wiper on there, otherwise it hangs right off. It's too long. Um, but then you're always going to have a wiper blade right down your center because that's where it's going to drop to all the time. Okay, so this uh, this is okay for me right here. And then uh, I'm going to hook up some sort of water system and uh, I'll give it a shot. So this is not, like I said, this is not final. I uh, want to really secure this with some bigger washers like I showed you. Uh, but that was relatively uh, simple. Just be careful drilling your hole. I was pretty careful and I still cracked. Uh, take your time. Don't push it. Just let it, you know, burn through. Um, and that's that. So I got one wiper on. I'm, I'm good. I'm going to go to the hardware store, pick up a couple washers, clamp that down pretty good, and then uh, we'll call it a day. Thank you. Hope this helps somebody. Uh, there was a 10 millimeter nut up there. Uh, I don't know what size the other tighteners are. It doesn't matter. You can use an adjustable wrench, tighten them up. Um, but I used uh, 15, what I say, 15, 30 seconds uh, was the one. So just to recap, uh, 15, 30 seconds was the right size to drill for the tube on these. And uh, really, uh, it takes more time planning where you really want it to be uh, than it does to install it. So very simple. Uh, we'll see how they work, and I'll report back how they work. So um, have a nice day. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Okay, um, here's the windshield wiper from the inside. Um, 
got permanent clearance right here. I can play around with this angle if I want, however I want this rested. Um, but it's down when the windshield wiper's down and then, uh, you know, up like that. Very simple. Moves very easy. Um, slides nice. Okay. Uh, the uh, windshield wiper, as you can see out of the way, this is the driver's side view right here. Um, and that's the way it's going to rest. It really shouldn't bounce around too much over here. It should just stay in a down position and uh, hopefully uh, be okay. And that's it. I'll reach up, hit the wiper. Now I'm going to try and hook up some sort of water system that drips down in here. Uh, since my since my roof kind of comes over, concave, it's hard to see, but see how it hangs over here? Um, I'm probably gonna spray some water right from inside here and uh, just shoot it down and let it act like a waterfall and down uh, haven't figured that part out yet either that or I might take a, a metal tube and drill some baby holes in it and and uh, send some water through it and uh, and let that drip down you know maybe uh, I don't know maybe a little copper tube or whatever I find uh, could be even a rubber tube with just a, a stopper on one end and then, uh, you know, I don't know, I'll, I'll uh, let you know what I MacGyver, because that's my next, uh, that's my next um, project, is to figure out how to get water to the windshield. Uh, you can buy a kit, you know, you can buy a whole windshield wiper kit if you want. Um, but uh, I chose for the water pump uh, with, the, with the hose action, uh, just so I can uh, come in and rinse down some other things. Because when you get muddy and dirty... Uh, especially if you need to, if something breaks, you want to be able to wash it down with something. And uh, so I'm hopefully going to be carrying enough water and I can, uh, you know, come in here and spray stuff down. You know, there'll be mud all up in here. Uh, you want to be able to rinse this all down, okay? Um, I've been out on my quad where uh, I've overheated because the mud just gets totally uh, gunked up in your radiator and... Uh, some people even bring uh, uh, fire extinguishers filled with water, and and to clean out their uh, to clean out their radiators. That's a pretty good idea as well. Uh, it's probably not a bad idea to have a fire extinguisher on board. Uh, so that might be another uh, accessory added. Um, but for now, stick around, subscribe, hit the like button if this helped you. Uh, we're gonna hook up a watering system. I got a MacGyver uh, a watering system up here.